Chad Butler, known as Pimp C, died in a Los Angeles hotel room. The L.A. County Coroner's Office ruled the rapper's death accidental and attributed to a combination of apnea yeah. and syrup. And we know that syrup on the streets usually has codeine. Absolutely. We have a problem now with the cough syrup epidemic. epidemic. He rolled up, asked him what he was sipping on, said lean. You wanna hit a dog? That's the same stuff Wheezy sipping, huh? And tons of other rappers that be spitting hard. Yep, he had five a bone. Then when I passed him that styrofoam. The Easter pink heard it rhyme before. Finally got to see what all the hype was on. And then he took a sip, sitting in the Lincoln, thinking he was pipping as he listened to the system. Little did he know that it was just as addictive as bass. Not the kind of hit from the kick drum. Hot box, let the bass bump. Take it to the face, gulp. Months later, the use went up. And every blunt was accompanied by the pink stuff But goddamn, you love that feeling Purple rain coated in the throat, just so healing Medicine alleviate the sickness Liquid to fix him, it comes with a cost Wake up, cold sweat, scratching, itching Trying to escape the skin that barely fit him Gone, get another bottle just to get a couple swallows Headed towards the bottom, couldn't get off it Didn't even think he had a problem Though we couldn't sleep without getting nauseous Room spinning, thinking he might have sipped Just a little bit too much of that cough syrup His eyelids closed shut, sat back in the chair clutching that cup girlfriend came and a couple hours later said his name shook him but he never got up he never got up he never got up we live on the cusp of death thinking that it won't be us it won't be us it won't be us it won't be us nah it won't be us He just wanted to act like them He just wanted to rap like him Us as rappers underestimate the power And the effects that we have on these kids Blunt past, ash in the tin Pack being pushed, harassed by the feds The fact of it is, most people that rap like this Talking about some shit they haven't lived Surprise, you know the drill Trapped in a box, decline record sales Follow the formula, violence, drugs, and sex sales So we try to sound like someone else This is not Californication There's no way to glorify this pavement Syrup, Percocet, and ate the Day will leave you broke, depressed, and emotionally vacant Despite how little Wayne lives It's not conducive to being creative And I know cause he's my favorite And I know cause I was off that same mix Rationalize the shit that I try After I listen to dedication But he's an alien I'd sip that shit, pass out, and play PlayStation Months later I'm in the same place No music made, feeling like a failure And trust me, it's not dope to be 25 And move back to your parents' basement I see my people's dreams die I seen what they can be denied And weed's not a drug that's denial Groundhog day life repeat each time I seen Oxycontin take three lives I grew up with them, we used to cheat dimes I seen cocaine bring out the demons inside Cheating in line, friendship cease, no peace in the mind Stealing and taking anything to fix the pieces inside Broken, hopeless, headed nowhere Only motivation for what the dealer's supplying That rush, that drug, that dope Those pills, that crumb, that roach Think I will never do that, not that drug Growing up, nobody ever Ever does until you're stuck looking in the mirror like I can't believe what I become so I was gonna be someone and growing up everyone always does we sell our dreams and our potential to escape through that buzz just keep me up keep me up Hollywood here we come Very strong addictive qualities, pills and syrups and whatnot. So, um, is it changing the music? Um, I can only speak for myself personally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have been taking down, toning down the content of certain things in the music lately. My new album, of course, probably won't have any references to cough syrup in it. But um, it's, it's a little bit more than the music. I think it's going to start affecting the, the personal lives of a lot of artists and people. people in